<laughs> they say every house has a story, and there is one house in Portland that tells much of the city's history. The Pinnock Mansion was home to one of Portland's most prominent pioneer families. They helped grow two major institutions that now define where we live. Henry Pittock actually built this mansion at the end of his life in 1914, and he had made his fortune uh, basically by running the Oregonian newspaper. High above downtown in Portland's West Hills, the 23-room Pittock Mansion is a journey into early Portland history. Englishman Henry Pittock came across the Oregon Trail in the 1850s to seek his fortune. His wife, Georgiana, was from Missouri. She actually helped found the, the Rose Society, held the first Rose show in her backyard in her house in downtown Portland, and sort of got the idea of roses going. An idea that Georgiana and Henry helped turn into the city's premier event, the Rose Festival. As Portland's population took off, so did Henry Pittock's Oregonian newspaper after he bought it from founder Thomas Dreyer. Henry Pittock really saw the Oregonian from its beginning uh, through growing into a modern newspaper and a lot of technological changes along the way. These are, these are individual pieces of type. Uh, each one represents a different letter. Back then, typesetters placed each letter individually by hand. But by the time Henry Pittock ended his career, the Oregonian had massive press rooms and the technology to produce lots of papers quickly. Henry and Georgiana Pittock both died a few years after their mansion was built. Their family lived here until 1958 and then put it on the market. It didn't sell. Headed for demolition after damage in the 1962 Columbus Day storm, concerned Portlanders raised money to buy it for the city in 1964. It's now a museum and a revealing glimpse into Portland's past. The Pittock Mansion gets about 90,000 visitors a year. Their current exhibit documents much of the Oregonian's early days. Now you know the Oregonian is more of an online presence than it's been in the past, as newspapers across the country redefine themselves to survive in this online world. Mm, I love going there at Christmas time. So pretty. Oh, they do a great job yeah. with the Christmas displays up mm -hmm. there. Well,